back to another tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to read current from a PowerFlex 525. This was a request from one of our subscribers. So I have RSLogix 5000 open. I have an L72 processor. I'm using an EMBT card on a, you know, on a private network. So we're going to go ahead and right click on Ethernet. We're going to add a new module. Select Drive. Scroll down to PowerFlex 525 via Embedded Ethernet. Select OK and give it a name, PowerFlex 525. Just give it a random IP address. Then we will go to module definition where we would typically match our drive. I don't have one online, so I'm going to select one that I've been using, which is a three phase 460 volt two horse motor or drive. Revision 4.1. We'll go over here to where it says input data and output data. This is where you're going to change it so you can read your output current. So in the first drop down, you can scroll down and you can select output current. You can select many other items here. So now we have output current as one of our uh, variables in our input data. We're going to go ahead and select OK. And this is just telling us we're changing the drive rating to th our three phase 460 volt two horse drive. And our IO parameters, we added the output current. Select OK. So now you can go up into your controller tags and you can go to the information for this drive for our PowerFlex 525 on the input side. Expand that, go down to the bottom. Right here is where you would read your output current on the drive. So this is this be uh, displayed in tenths. So you'll want to take this and divide it by 100 and change it to a floating point. Then you can get 1.0.99 uh, whatever a typical two horse or one horse motor would be running then you'll get your feedback from that drive dependent upon load variables but this is where you would read it from and you can go ahead and add that into your program that's all there is to displaying the output current and other items for the PowerFlex 525 thank you for watching and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest tutorials